Hello everyone. Welcome back to your own channel that is Learn English with Priyanka. Today I am going to talk about the physics exam and also about the math exam that was held a few days ago. Both papers were quite challenging and have received feedback from around 3500 students across India. More than half of them found the paper tough while a good percentage said that it was moderate. But honestly, was there really a need to make class 10th exam this difficult? Okay, now if I break this down, 50 to 60% of the students found the paper difficult. 27 to 28% said that it was moderate. And only 25% felt it was easy. You know, even top scorers struggled. Yes, if you were aiming for 100 marks, this paper made it nearly impossible because of the tricky questions, some of the tricky questions. And let's be honest, in class 10th, the goal should be concept clarity, not making students struggle unnecessarily, isn't it? So what's happening with ICSC's difficulty level? Now, here is the big update. You are not the only ones facing the issue. Yes, in class 12, the economics paper was also tough and the coordinator meeting which was held in Delhi was held regarding this. The decision. So the decision is that no student should fail. If you have written reasonably well, you will pass. And let me tell you, a similar lenient marking approach is expected for class 10th physics too. So, if you have scored at least 10 marks out of 80, you are safe. Yes, no one will fail. Talking about the marking scheme, so this year's marking scheme will be lenient. Marking will be quite lenient. If your answer is almost 70% correct, you will still get marks. Why? Because minor errors won't lead to deductions. So, the good news is that as long as you have attempted the paper properly, you won't fail unless you have left everything blank. Likha agar hai to paas zarur hoge. So, yes. Ha, now, what you have to do? I know many of you are worried about physics and even maths. And as you people know, your final science course is the average of all the three papers. So, if you score higher in chemistry and bio, it will pull up your physics scores automatically. Even if you have scored zero in physics, which I hope isn't the case, you still won't fail if your other papers are strong. Right, so yes, your chemistry and your bio can be your savior. I know that those papers weren't too difficult. So, my message is just that don't panic. Stay focused. Last year, almost 99.8% of the students passed and this year too. Unless someone hasn't written anything no one will fail i'll be posting important topics and uh, updates so if you do not want to miss these valuable insights subscribe now hit the bell icon so that you do not ever miss the update i'll see you in the next one till then take care bye bye